I'm so high on this guy as a player. What is he not good at? There should be more conversation of this guy going, uh, being the, the first, uh, you know, overall prospect among the three. I think Roma Dunze's game reminds me of Devontae Adams. Look at the release. There's your separation. Wait, wow. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. I think universally, Romo Dunze considered the number three wide receiver in this, you know, triumvirate of high powered wide receivers. Um, when I go through uh, this guy's player profile on receptionperception.com, my God, Matt, um, <laughs> there should be more conversation of this guy going, uh, being the, the first, uh, you know, overall prospect among the three. Yeah. Um, man, I was just blown away by um, the data that came out of his profile. The, just the film on watching Roma Dunze. Uh, I think he is a fantastic prospect. I'm so high on this guy as a player because, man, I, it's like, what is he not good at? Like, literally go through the whole profile and tell me like what he's not good at. Like show me the film. What is, what is he not good at? I, I don't, I don't know, man, because this is a, this is just like kind of a lot of what I said about Marvin Harrison jr. Applies mm -hmm. to Roma Dunze, which is to your point. I, I think he is closer to like, I, I got some responses, you know, putting the profile of the chart out on Twitter. And, oh, my God. I mean, it's absolutely blown up. <laughs> Several media outlets picking it up the whole thing. It's been kind of crazy today. But, um, you know, like, yep, this confirms it. Roma Dunze, definitely the wide receiver three in this class. Like, cemented. There's a gap between him and, like, whoever at number four. I'm like, bro, what? Like, no way. I think he's closer to the wide receiver one than the wide receiver. Like, not even close is he to wide receiver four. I think he is closer to being the top receiver in this draft class than anything else. Like, this guy is a, is a stud. Number one, true X receiver in college. Took 84% right. of his sampled snaps outside. He was on the line of scrimmage for 67.4%. Like, he ran out as a classic number one receiver at the collegiate level. That was what he was doing. Uh, ran a ton of downfield routes. Again, similar to what we talked about with neighbors where there's a little bit more slants, screens, stuff like that, but not a lot. Definitely below the prospect average on screen and slants, but pff, the success rates are crazy, man. I mean, 76.2% uh, success rate versus man, 92nd percentile success rate versus press, 80%, 83.5% um, success rate versus zone. Like, Guy's open. Uh, he has a. If you've not seen the route tree yet, <laughs> he's got an above average success rate on every single all route. Green. All green. The closest guys that have come to that in the last few draft classes have been like Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson, who were like one route away from a full green route tree. But um, yeah, I mean, shout out to Roma Dunze. I mean, such a good route runner. I think he is like a master level technician for sure. Um, he's explosive, which I, I'm kind of confused as to why anybody would think he's not explosive he was like an all-star sprinter in college <laughs> guys like extremely twitched up he moves really well um also definitely has the best hands in this class for sure um didn't drop a pass over the eight games i sampled 88.9 percent contested catch rate um yeah like great hands separation uh i've seen c critiques of his like after catch stuff which to me I, I, I don't understand that at all. He was in space on 10.5% of his sample routes. He broke one tackle on 50% of those plays. Like mm. the first guy rarely ever brings him down. So like we're talking about an X receiver that separates, that beats press coverage, 92nd percentile, 80% overall, wins as a route runner, wins as a contested catch receiver, wins after the catch like i mean he just does everything extremely well so i think the floor is very high on him as a prospect and like if all these skills continue to develop in the nfl the ceiling can be extremely high for roma dunze as well i mean 6'3, 212 ran a 445 had a 39 inch vertical a 10-4 broad jump. i mean bro bro yeah. athletically elite i felt like and i feel like some of the analysis with romo dunze is oh he can't separate because look at how many of these contested catch opportunities that he had um and again it's guys like Devonte parker go ahead and drink that drink <laughs> <laughs> struggled to separate a little bit but was really good in contested catch there's no question even going all the way back uh to his collegiate profile 
Um, and I know Romo Dunze had a lot of contested catch opportunities. Um, clearly what reception perception is showing is that that's not necessarily, you know, uh, because he couldn't separate. It's just, that's just how these plays went. Uh, maybe that speaks more to, to Michael Penix than it does to Romo Dunze. Um, but uh, again, even visually, it just seemed like every contested catch it was his. It's not a 50-50 ball. You know what I mean? It's more like a 70-30 ball tilting towards a Dunze. I don't know. What did you see from a contested catch standpoint? Yeah, I mean, and obviously there's a physical skill set that you need to win contested catches. But there are guys that have been big receivers before that are not good in contested situations. That Quentin don't get up Johnston, come on. Yeah. Right. Of course, there's the frame part of it. There's the my ball mentality part of it, which like Roma Dunze absolutely has my mm -hmm. ball mentality. But there's also the technique part of it. It's it's again, it's working leverage. It's it's timing your jumps. It's being able to shield defenders yeah, from yeah, you yeah. to get between, you know, you and the ball, like working. Like, when do you throw the hands up? Do you have late hands? Can you time that part of it right? So much of it is split second athletic timing. And Roma Dunze has all that. Like, that's a big part of it. And because this is where the quarterback part of it comes in. Number one, it's Michael Penix. You know that he has that. So, like, I'm Toss throwing up, this baby. thing up. I'm throwing this thing <laughs> up to him. Like, we, we run a pure <laughs> vertical offense. And this is a guy that's Toss running uh, nine, you know, post routes and corner routes and stuff like that. Out routes at a very high degree uh, for a collegiate prospect. I'm throwing that thing up to him. Mm -hmm. Tight coverage. I'm th I'm throwing that thing up to him. This is gonna be a low percentage throw. Well, it's not a low percentage throw because I have Roma Dunze. Like he's gonna win in those situations, and like he gets that late separation in his routes too to make that a, a quality target. Um, Romo Dunze again against man coverage above that. I, I look for seventy five percent. That's what he's got. Seventy six percent success rate. Eighty seventh percentile versus man. Eighty first percentile versus zone. A player that again runs a lot of deep downfield routes still really good against zone coverage that right there to me is like a whoa that's a blinking green light like come on let's go uh here with Roma Dunze and then finally against press coverage over you know just at 80 percent success rate 92nd percentile Matt uh against yeah. press coverage uh, come on man. so good off the line man he's so good off the line and so like to put a I would say to put a period on Roma Dunze, but this is probably more so putting an exclamation point on Roma mm -hmm. Dunze as a prospect. Um, would you like to know my comparison? Yes, uh, please. Absolutely. I know you already know it because you said you let read the profile, but for the people out right, there, right. my uh, player comparison for Roma Dunze. Um, and I don't like to do this because okay. I don't, I do not like to have prospects come into the league and like, I like to be level-headed with comparisons. Be like, ah, here's a good, like, maybe this this prospect, you know, he'll have this type of career, like a uh -huh. good player, but, you know, maybe not, like, one of the best players of the position. I'm going to go ahead and say that, like, Roma Dunze really does remind me of one of the best players at the position still right now and definitely over the last, like, five years. Okay. I mean, and I've seen some good comparisons for Roma Dunze. I'll just give a shout-out to FF Snug on Twitter. Uh, he okay. had a good comparison. Uh, if Chris Olave and Michael Thomas had a baby – it would be Roma Dunze. <laughs> wow. That actually does. Pretty good. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, that's a good one. I've seen some people compare him to Keenan Allen. That's a good one. I'll mm -hmm. go one step further. I think Roma Dunze's game reminds me of Devontae Adams. Devontae wow. Adams, a guy that was just so good to elite at everything. Um, yeah. Elite route runner. You know, another in the NFL, full green yep. route trees for old Devontae totally. Adams. We know that. Uh, multiple seasons as like a 96th, 97th, 98th, 99th percentile success rate versus man coverage player. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably some of the nastiest release moves in the game. Uh, great on slant routes. Roma Dunze, 87.2% success rate on slant routes. 85.7% success rate on digs. I mean, hello, if you're a Shanahan offense and you need an X receiver, like throw this guy in the IUK role, throw this guy in the Nico Collins role, the old Julio Jones role, he can do that. We saw Devontae Adams do that in Mike in Matt LaFleur's offense in Green Bay. Great after catch. Devontae Adams has always been great after catch. Devontae Adams has always been electric at the catch point. Roma Dunze, yep. best yep. contested catch receiver in this class. Pro wow. Probably, definitely, probably, for sure. So all that together, like again, that's high praise to say, but I think his game film 
his profile, his whole well-rounded approach to the position deserves that.